Hello everybody. I uh, I recently started a Pico jar tank, as you can see here. Um, don't mind the clutter around it. I haven't moved it to its final location yet, but um, our local Facebook group is uh, doing a little Pico vase tank challenge. Um, every year we put on two frag swaps, and so we thought it would be a good idea to... Uh, to have everybody bring their Pico tank or vase tank to the swap and uh, have a little competition and people can vote on which one they like the best, etc, etc. So uh, everybody's been putting together their tank and uh, this is Sunday today and I actually put this together on Friday um, you know after ordering everything and getting everything ready to go um, so it's there's not too much craziness going on in here. I got some Zoas from my main tank. Um, <clears throat> I got some Aura Green Bird's Nest in there, and uh, I actually have new today. Let me see if I can find them. I put in two blue-legged hermit crabs, um, but. Seem to have lost them, um, but they are in there somewhere. And actually, there's one right there. So let's see if we can get a little shot of him. There it is. But uh, yeah, they're a little shy. I think all the movement around the tank and stuff has is making them a bit shy but uh, yeah so that is my little tank as you can see I have a little beta heater um, I have a pump that's turned off right now a um, little thermometer and a little tiny glass cleaner um, if people are wondering what the size of this tank or jar is the jar is actually a three quarter gallon so just a little little tiny cookie jar basically from walmart i think it was something like 10 bucks um and uh and yeah and uh so i'll probably add maybe some pink bird's nest to it um I also have some um, Birds of Paradise bird's nests coming at some point. Um, so maybe I'll get a little tiny piece of that. Uh, it's February now and the meetup is actually in April. So there's a little bit of time to get things growing and stuff like that. Um, if you can see that little rock in the front, I'm thinking of maybe putting a little tiny piece of GSP in there just for a little patch of grass kind of thing um anyways we'll see how it goes and uh, i'll try to keep you updated on how this tiny little pico vase tank goes uh, i'll probably put a sheet of acrylic on the top for a lid i do have a glass lid here but um the light doesn't penetrate very well so probably a little sheet of acrylic cut to the size of the top and uh, then the light will penetrate awesome and I can just leave it on other than for pictures and stuff like that. Anyways, just a little quick update. Um, oh yeah, and the light you see here is a Lumini Asta 20 and on Amazon.ca because I'm in Canada, it is uh, $69 and on Reef to Reef Forums, um, somebody measured it in a Innovation Marine 10 gallon, which is 11 inches deep, and directly below the light was 220 or 280 par, somewhere in that range. So for a little vase uh, reef tank, that light is amazing and uh, pretty affordable for Canadians that, uh, um, you know, instead of a par 38 bulb, par 38 bulbs in Canada don't aren't sold very much and uh, getting them shipped from the states 
you end up paying around 50 or 60 bucks for a Power 38 bulb, and then you have to go buy a lamp fixture to uh, to use it in. So it basically ends up costing around 70 bucks. So this light um, is actually perfectly priced and has all kinds of features. Anyways, um, this is getting a little longer than I thought, but yeah. So I'll try to keep everybody updated and uh, happy reefing.